Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. A lot of my friends has been wondering since they discovered that I'm doing this YouTube thing, what it takes to actually start a YouTube channel. Well, technically, it doesn't start much to start a YouTube channel. All you do is sign up. However, if you want to be a YouTuber, then these are five things that you would have to know before starting your YouTube channel in 2019. back again to another video it's your boy rev one here if it's your first time here hit that subscribe button that notification bell and i hope you enjoy your stay with us so this video has been made numerous times already but these are the five things that i think are important at least for me when starting a youtube channel um, so without further ado let's get started so the first thing is obvious you just gotta get started um, each YouTuber that you see out there, whether they're, you know, PewDiePie or Mr. Beast or all those huge, huge YouTube stars, they started somewhere, you know, and that's the first step of, of taking this journey is you need to start. You need to start somewhere. Everyone starts somewhere, whether it's in your office or whatever, you know, don't be afraid to start wherever you are in life. And um, if you ever you find yourself thinking, oh, what should have, you know, what could have been, you know, if I started YouTube six years ago or started YouTube 10 years ago, you know, and what can happen today if you started back then, you know, don't go through life thinking that way. If you, if this is something that you really want to do and you have your interest in, then just start. You know, as time goes by, your videos will get a little bit better. You'll learn how to be more comfortable in front of the camera and try not to stutter anymore. You know, it, it just, it takes time to learn. So, you know, you never know until you actually, you actually try it. So, no harm in trying. I mean, there's, what, there's only a few people will know. Maybe your friends will know, but so what? You know, maybe there's something that they don't know about you that they just found out watching your YouTube video. So uh, you never know until you try. So that's the first step is just to get out there and just try it. The second thing on my list, and it's actually pretty much, uh, it's a pretty important one, I think, because it differentiates the people who actually want to start and the people who does start. Um, it's, Basically, you do not need an expensive camera or a camera setup to start this. You can start with anything that has a camera. If you have a phone, like this is my iPhone. If you have a phone or anything like that that has a, has a simple camera on it, then you've already started. You can use that. You don't need a $600, $700, or even $4,000, $5,000 camera to start this. No, you don't. You can just use any camera that you have, have readily av available. And all you need is yourself is your camera and yourself. That's all you need in your channel. It's your channel, make it yours, make it original, you know, and just, just go ahead and film it. Go out there and just film whatever you need to do. And and then that's, that's pretty much it. You don't need anything expensive to start this at all. And a lot of people who say, you know, yeah, once you get better, maybe you're gonna pick up some other things like a mic, like some lights, like some better cameras and all that stuff. But to start out, no. You don't need anything expensive at all to start off. You just use whatever you have available and that's good enough to go. So the third thing on this list is niches or niches or niche, all that stuff. So yes, it's important. Um, so this is going to be my opinion, but it is important to find a niche uh, related to you than what you want to talk about because it helps target your audience uh, so you can build a community around you. However, when you're starting out, you don't know what works yet and you don't know what you want to talk about or what interests you really. I mean, you don't want to just, yeah, you go to the trend if you're trying to find uh, viewers and subscribers, which shouldn't really matter for you actually in the beginning. All should really matter for you in the beginning is getting your videos out there. So, and that goes on to my next thing, but staying on niches is, I think for the beginning, you gotta branch out because you never know what you can be good at. So you never know, and you're gonna be stuck in that bubble if you just stick to one niche at one time. So if, you stay, if you're just talking about cars, or if you're just talking about uh, fitness or anything like that, and you stay with that, then good, you know, that's good, you found your niche. But what if those videos are not going well for you? And what if you wanna branch out to something else? What if you wanna go from fitness and go to food, or you wanna food, go to beauty and all that stuff, or fashion? You never know until you try it. There's, you know, you never know until you take the risk and get there and try those topics. So that's why when I say, like when you're starting out, that's why I think, you know, it's good to broaden your horizon a little bit. Yes, pick a niche once you get comfortable and all that stuff. But 
for when you're starting out, I don't think that you know it's it's you're gonna stick to a bubble and people are gonna be scared. Oh, I don't want to do that because that's not what my channel's about. You know, it's 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 about expressing you as yourself, being original. You know, bringing your originality and your and your own creativity to to your videos. You know, those those will help if you just broaden your horizon. So yeah, niches are very important. Don't get me wrong, but when you're starting out, you know, it's good to just I think you should just broaden your horizon a little bit and just. You know, pick on pick on things that you are you know, that's interested in you, and um, that way you can get your own spin on things. All right, so I think I'm on number four, I think. But anyways, so the fourth thing is post consistently. So posting consistently is very very important. Um, once you start building an audience, you're gonna have to you know you're gonna have to explain to them when when you're gonna be posting, what day, what time, and all this stuff. And you're gonna have to try your best to stick to that schedule because your audience will get used to that. Otherwise, they don't know when you're gonna be posting and you're gonna be inconsistent. Um, but when you're starting out, it's good to just get as many videos as you can out there. Um, keep the quality as best as you can. It doesn't have to be a professional video or anything like that. As long as you think, hey, I would watch this or it's good enough for me, so I'm gonna just post it. Just get that quality in as best as you can. And each of your videos should be better than the last one. Even if it's a small amount better, you know, it should be better than the last one. You post consistently and you post a lot of videos as much as you can without losing quality you know, you have more chances of being discovered and going viral that way. Post 10 videos within a year, it's not that great actually, you know, that's actually, that's that's very low, but if you post like 100 videos within a year, see now you have 100 videos, all those videos has a chance to go viral. YouTube can push those videos out so that you can be, you know, you can be searched for. It's easier to search for you if you have 100 videos out than 10 videos, that's all I'm trying to say. Post the most videos as you can, don't lose the quality of them, post consistently, and you know just just keep at it all right so the last thing i want to say is basically it's the mindset you know it's the mindset you have when you start youtube when you first start on youtube you think i'm going to post this video and it's going to go viral tomorrow but that's probably not going to be it if you post a viral video great you know more power to you but unless you're a celebrity or unless you have a huge following somewhere else your video is probably not going to go viral or probably not even gonna have any views when you're starting out within the next what, a week or a month or maybe even a year. Okay, a year is probably too dramatic. What I'm trying to say is you gotta have the mindset, you know, you gotta have the mindset that YouTube is a marathon and it's not a sprint. So you gotta keep keep at it. No matter how hard it is, you have all your videos down, the content is great, your SEOs are good, the tags are good, your title is good and all that stuff, but you still have no views. Do not be discouraged. Keep on keeping on. You know, just keep doing what you're doing and you will get there. You know, success is not when you're on top of the mountain, it's when the journey to get there. If you're watching this video now and you're stuck somewhere, but you're not giving up, you're still posting videos and all that stuff, you've already been successful. You already beat the mindset. When you're starting out also, you're also gonna focus on the numbers, like how much subscribers I have or how much views I'm getting. You know, sure, those are very important later on. But for now, you know, if you have the mindset to think, Instead of how much you know subscribers I have and all that stuff, because those will come later. If your content is good, you gotta focus on how much people I'm engaging with, how much people I'm helping. You know, helping them with whatever they need. You know, they have a question, I have an answer. Because YouTube doesn't care if you have a thumbs up on your video or a thumbs down on your video. They only care about the engagement, about the emotion that you take from each each member or each person that's viewing your your video. Sure, you kind of don't want to get the thumbs down, but hey it's it, you're still getting engagement you know and how many people are you affecting that way whether good or bad now hopefully it's good you know but as you get better you know as you get better on your videos and all that stuff and as you get more well known and you engage with your viewers and you, and you, you get a relationship with them you know how much people are you affecting you know how much people are you actually helping you know and then once you before you know it your views and your subscribers all that will slowly come you know without even you noticing it and you'll be you'll be at a milestone because there's always a milestone for every YouTuber out there. Whether you have a thousand subscribers and your next one is gonna be five thousand subscribers and your next one is ten thousand subscribers, there's always a milestone. But guess what? You are still gonna be the same person you are from the day you started YouTube. So don't lose who you are. Don't forget who you are. Be yourself, you know. And sooner or later, you know, just be humble, and you will get there. 
Well, I kind of lost track of what number I'm on, so I'm just gonna add one more, and that's basically, you know, just get a notepad or notebook out there and start jotting down ideas of, of things, you know, that you want to talk about or you want to express your feelings on, because inspiration comes everywhere and anywhere that you least expect it. So if you have an iPhone or anything like that, or an Android phone or any phone that has a notepad application on it, you know, you're good to go. If you're if you want to take this old school and get actually, you know, a pen and paper, write it down. Because if you need help scripting your, your videos, you know, go ahead, write it down. I, for one, you know, I don't really believe in scripts. I re I write down what I need to say, then I just reiterate off of the, the top of my head, which is why I make so much mistakes. Um, but yeah, that's where editing comes in, right? So I hope this video helped you, you know, and uh, cross some lines out of your checklist and all that stuff and keep your mind straight and keep your mind focused on what you need to be doing. You know, all the big YouTube stars started somewhere. You know, they all started where you are now, where I am now. So, you know, be, don't be discouraged if you don't have anything going your way because if you keep consistency and if you keep, you know, your strive and keep everything, you know, all that work ethic, don't lose focus, stay where you are, keep doing what you're doing and you will get there, I promise. So it is Halloween today. It's October 31st. So happy Halloween if you are watching this today and I will see you on the next one. Peace